Hello students in this video i will teach you chapter number 2 from unit 3 the name of the chapter is three questions i will read the chapter line by line and explain it to you further in case you guys have doubts you can clear it out from me i'll start with reading the chapter line by line and explaining it the thought came to a certain king that he would never fail if he knew three things these three things were what is the right time to begin something which people should he listen to what is the most important thing for him to do there was a king and he thought one day that if he knew three things he will never fail at anything he will never fail at anything he does and what were those three things first one was that what is the right time to begin something when you start something when you begin to do some work what is the right time for that next one is which people should he listen to in case he has doubts or if he has any problem who will he go to and who will he listen to whose suggestions will he focus on and third one was what is the most important thing for him to do the king therefore sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions so the king had sent his messengers to the entire kingdom and told them that the person who is going to answer these three questions correctly will be given a huge amount of money as a gift so it was a promising thing he had promised that if somebody would give me three correct answers for these particular questions he is going to give them a reward a gift many wise men came to the king but they all answered these questions differently so there were many people many men had come over to his kingdom to his throne and given him answers but all the answers were different they were not similar in reply to the first question some said the king must prepare a time table and then follow it strictly only in this way they said he could do everything at its proper time others said that it was impossible to decide in advance the right time for doing something so the first question was what is the right time to begin something and there were two different kind of answers the first person to answer was he said that he could prepare a time table and he could follow it so if he follows the time table everything will be happening at the right time and other people said that it is impossible to decide anything that we would do in future from beforehand because it might not be the right thing to do the king should notice all that was going on avoid foolish pleasures and always do whatever seemed necessary at that time so the people who said that it is impossible to decide what we have to do in future from before they said that according to the situation the king has to take a decision yet others said that the king needed a council of wise men who would help him to act at the proper time and few people said that he might need counselors he might need help from people who are wise and they will tell him how to act in a particular situation so that he can begin something at the right time others will give him the right answers and he is going to follow it this is because one man would find it impossible to decide correctly without help from others the right time for every action so the people said that he might need counselors because one person might not be able to decide what is to be done and if there are a lot of people agreeing to one particular situation and solution that would be more helpful but then others said that there were things which could be urgent these things could not wait for the decision of the council so there were other people who were saying that there might be some situations where you have to take immediate decisions and we cannot wait for the council members to decide what is right and what is not in order to decide the right time for doing something it was impossible to look into the future only magicians could do that the king therefore would have to go to the magicians so the people said that if we have to decide what to do at the right time when should we begin so it is impossible for us to look in future they said maybe magicians can help you because with the help of magic they will get to know what will happen in future and accordingly he can take his decisions so these were the different views of people to the first question please go through it once again so that you know all the different views in their answer to the second question some said that the people most necessary to the king were his counselors others said the priests 
a few others chose the doctors and yet others said that his soldiers were the most necessary so the second question was which people should he listen to and there were again different answers some said that the counselors were important others said that the priest were important few people said that the doctors are important and others said that soldiers were necessary to the third question some said science others chose fighting and yet others religious worship so the third question was what was the important thing for him to do the most important thing so again there were different answers some said that you should think of doing something in science others said you should choose fighting and some people said that you should do religious worshiping as the answers to his questions were so different the king was not satisfied and gave no reward so if you remember he had promised that he will give a reward to the one who answers all three questions but everybody who had answered their answers were completely different from each other the king was not satisfied it was of no help for him so he did not give any reward to anybody instead he decided to seek the advice of a certain hermit who was widely known for his wisdom so the king had decided that he is going to take help of a hermit hermit is basically a religious man who was widely known for his wisdom what is the meaning of wisdom he was basically known for his good judgments and for his experience and also knowledge the hermit lived in a hut in the forest which he never left he saw no one but simple people so the king put on ordinary clothes before he reached the hermit's hut the king left his horse with his bodyguard and went on alone so the hermit used to live in a hut which was in the forest and he never left from that place that was his permanent home and also he just met people who were ordinary who were simple people so the king had dressed like an ordinary man and before he reached his home he had actually left his bodyguard and the horse over there only and walked alone till his home as the king came near the hermit's hut he saw the hermit digging the ground in front of his hut he greeted the king and continued digging the hermit was old and weak and as he worked he breathed heavily so when the king arrived near the hermit's hut he saw that the hermit was digging a ground outside his hut and so the hermit had seen the king he greeted him and he continued doing his work the hermit was actually weak and old and while he was working he was breathing heavily because maybe he was tired the king went up to the hermit and said i have come to you wise hermit to ask you to answer three questions how can i learn to do the right thing at the right time who are the people i need the most what affairs are the most important so once the king reaches there he tells the hermit that he has come to him because he wanted answer to the three questions that have been mentioned the hermit listened to the king but did not speak he went on digging you are tired said the king let me take the spade and work in your place so the hermit had heard what the king said but he did not reply he had continued digging the ground so the king saw that he was tired so the king told him that you are tired i will help you thanks said the hermit giving the king his spade then he sat down on the ground so the hermit had thanked king for helping he gave him the spade and he sat down for resting when the king had dug two beds he stopped and repeated his questions the hermit gave no answer but stood up stretching out his hand for the spade and said now you rest and let me work so the king had dug two beds and he stopped and he had again asked those questions but the hermit did not answer again but later on he had stretched his hand and taken the spade back told him to rest and started working but the king did not give him the spade and continued to dig the king had not given him the spade and he continued digging one hour passed then another the sun went down behind the trees and at last the king stuck the spade into the ground and said i came to you wise man for the answers to my questions if you can give me no answer tell me so and i will return home so an hour passed and then two and the sun had also set so finally the king tells the hermit that he came to get answers to the questions but if the hermit is not willing to answer he should be knowing so that he can go back home 
Here comes someone running," said the hermit. The king turned round and saw a bearded man running towards them. His hands were pressed against his stomach, from which blood was flowing. So again, the hermit did not answer the king. He saw that somebody was running towards them. He told the king that there is somebody who is running towards us. The man who was running, his hands were on his stomach, and his stomach was bleeding. When he reached the king he fainted and fell on the ground the king and the hermit removed the man's clothing and found a large wound in his stomach the king washed and covered it with his handkerchief but the blood would not stop flowing the king redressed the wound until the bleeding stopped so by the time he had reached the man who was running and he was hurt he reached the king he had fainted and fell on the ground the king and the hermit they had seen that there was a wound he was hurt in his stomach so the king had washed the area which was wounded and had covered it with a handkerchief but the blood was still flowing but the king had redressed it until the wound had stopped bleeding the man felt better and asked for something to drink the king brought fresh water and gave it to him by this time the sun had set and the air was cool the king with the hermit's help carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed so the man after his wound was covered he felt better and he wanted something to drink so the king had bought water for him the sun had already set and the there was cool breeze around and the king with the help of the hermit carried the man into a room so that he could rest there The man closed his eyes and lay quiet. The king, tired by his walk and the work he had done, lay down on the floor and slept through the night. So the man had closed his eyes and he quietly laid there on the bed. The king was tired because of the hard work and the long day that he had had, so he slept on the floor only the entire night. When he awoke, it was several minutes before he could remember where he was or who the strange bearded man lying on the bed was. So when the king woke up next morning, he took a while to understand where he was and who was the man that was on the bed sleeping. "Forgive me," said the bearded man in a weak voice when he saw the king was awake. So the bearded man had also woken up, the one who was hurt the previous night. and when he saw that the king was awake he had asked for forgiveness i do not know you and have nothing to forgive you for said the king so the king replied that he does not know him and he does not have a reason to forgive him he does not even know why the man was apologizing you do not know me but i know you i am that enemy of yours who swore revenge on you because you put my brother to death and seized my property so the man says that you don't know me but i know you i am your enemy because you had killed my brother and you had taken away my property also i knew you had gone alone to see that hermit and i made up my mind to kill you on your way home so this man knew that the king was going to the hermit so he had planned that on the way he is going to kill the king but the day passed and you did not return so i left my hiding place and i came upon your bodyguard who recognized me and wounded me so the day had passed but the king did not return because obviously he was working there at the hermit's house and so when he had come when the bearded man had come out of his hiding place the bodyguard the king's bodyguard had seen him and he recognized him because he knew that this bearded man is the enemy so it was the king's bodyguard who had wounded the man I escaped from him but I would have died if you had not dressed my wounds I wish to kill you and you have saved my life so the man says that he ran away from there somehow so that he otherwise he would have died over there if the dressing was not done to the wounds and then he further says that I was wanting to kill you but on the other hand you saved my life by dressing my wound Now if I live I will serve you as your most faithful servant and will order my sons to do the same forgive me so then the man promises that if he lives he is going to be the king's most faithful servant along with his sons doing the same job and further he asks for forgiveness the king was very happy to have made peace with his enemy so easily and to won him over as a friend so the king was very happy that finally everything was sorted with his enemy and became his friend he not only forgave him but said he would also send his servants and his own doctor to look after him 
he further said that after forgiving him he said that he is going to send his servants and doctor so that they could take care of him he also promised to give back the man his property further he had promised that he is going to give this man the property he had seized he had taken leaving the wounded man the king went out of the hut and looked around for the hermit so after this conversation was over he came out of the hut to look for the hermit before going away he wished once more to get answers to his questions so before he was going back to his palace he wanted to get the answers to the questions he had asked the hermit was on his knees sowing seeds in the beds that had been dug the day before so that time the hermit was outside his hut he was sowing seeds in the dug the area the king went up to the hermit and said for the last time i beg you to answer my questions wise man so the king goes up to the hermit and requests him that it is for the last time that he is asking he begs that he needs the answers to the question you have already been answered said the hermit still bending down to the ground and looking up at the king as he stood before him so he looks the hermit looks at the king and says that you have already gotten your answers how have i been answered what do you mean so the king says that how did i get my answers i don't understand what you're talking about did you not see replied the hermit if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday and had not dug these beds for me you would have gone away then that man would have attacked you and you would have wished you had stayed with me so the man says the hermit says that yesterday you felt bad that i was the one working and you saw that i was tired so you decided to help me if you did not help me you would have gone back and if you went back that particular day you would have died on the way because the man would have attacked you so the most important time was when you were digging the beds i was the most important man and to do me good was your most important business so the man says that the most important time for you was to dig the beds and i was the most important to you at that time because you wanted to help me with my work you were being a good man afterwards when the man ran to us the most important time was when you were caring for him because if you had not dressed him the wounds he would have died without having made peace with you so then further the man says that when the man when the wounded man had come towards him he had helped him and if he did not help him he would have died and he wouldn't have the king wouldn't have made peace with the man with the bearded man his enemy so he was the most important man and what you did for him was your most important business so that time that man was important because he needed your help and what you did to him was your important business remember then there is only one time that is important and that time is now so further the hermit says that the right and the important time is right now you have to live in the present it is the most important time because it is the only time we have any part to act so the man hermit further says that the present is the only time where we can act so our present is the most important time for us the most necessary person is the person you are with at a particular moment for no one knows what will happen in the future and whether we will meet anyone else so further the hermit says that the most important person in our life is the one who is with us at the moment because they need us right now and we don't know that in the time to come in future they would be there with us or not the most important business is to do that person good because we were sent into this world for that purpose alone and the most important thing the most important business for you is to do good for the person you are with because that is our purpose if we are here in the world we should do good things and we should help others we should be a good person and so that's why that is the most important business that you have to do so these were the answers given to the questions he had asked and everything was explained to him perfectly and this is how the story comes to an end i hope everything has been understood in case there is any doubt please feel free to ask me so that's it for the video and the chapter thank you so much for your patience all of you